Mr. Sunak says action by China is vitally important if the world will achieve its goals on climate change. Mix with the best. another beautiful sunny very sunny actually the lighting might be a bit annoying um, because the sun is just everywhere um, December morning it's actually happy December to me today it's officially December 1st um, I know it's a little bit later than that for you but just with filming and editing you have to start a couple of days earlier otherwise there wouldn't be a video every single day so today it is officially December for the first year ever in my life I um, opened my advent calendar just a little bit early just two days early so that I could open it with you um, but yes I have a really lovely day planned today I'm gonna need my sunglasses and you're not gonna be able to see me at all I'm so sorry but I'm in a bit of a rush this morning so I'm just gonna have to persevere with the changing light I know it must be really annoying um, but the reason that we're in a little bit of a rush this morning and also the reason that the back of my car looks like that is because this afternoon we are driving home to the Cotswolds so that I can do all of the lovely Christmassy festive things that I do every single year with my mum. Um, this evening in particular there's the Christmas markets in Broadway which is something that I have done for as long as I can remember. That was one of the most exciting evenings when I was a child because obviously you're allowed out when it's dark with your parents and there's Christmas lights and just everything feels so Christmassy and so magical. And Broadway, if you haven't been, is such a beautiful um, little sort of high street with loads of really nice shops and they all stay open late. So on, I think they do it maybe two weekends in December, um, just on the Friday night, all of the shops open until I think it's eight o'clock tonight. Um, so that's what we have planned tonight, which is always one of my favorite evenings evenings of the year so I'm really excited for that and then we're going to go for a pub dinner as well which will be really nice um, but I can tell you more about that later because now I'm actually on my way into town to meet Alana again um, it's just that kind of time of year where so many events are on so I feel like I'm seeing Alana every day at the moment to go to events this morning we're going to a really lovely kind of breakfast preview um, for a really gorgeous homeware brand called Matilda Goad I'm pretty sure it's all of their Christmassy bits that we're seeing today which will be so lovely and it's at King Street Townhouse which is so festive at this time of year so I know it will be a really cosy lovely morning then i've got to quickly go pick up rue and head straight home so hence why the car is already all packed up yeah i think today is going to be a really really lovely day i'm just thinking actually while i'm in town i might quickly pop in and pick up a couple of little bits for my mum um, and my sister i really hope this road is not too bumpy it's a really really rubbish road um blinding blinding sun anyway i'm going to go and concentrate on getting there in one piece and hopefully not being too late it is absolutely blinding this sun this morning um and i'll see you when we get there just waiting outside for Alana to get her um, but I bought her this because the other day when we went to this kind of like Pilates oh you're there I was just talking about you hey <laughs> sister and my mum um, both an advent calendar from Hotel Chocolat because it's the 1st of December today and I'm seeing them. Hello. Yeah. Right it is now quite a bit later I have been home and picked up Rue and we are very much driving home but much like the song driving home for Christmas we are top 
top to toe and tail bags or whatever the lyric is basically the traffic is horrendous we were completely stationary on the m6 at one point i think there must have been an accident or something like that um so the traffic is or has been absolutely awful so we're actually now off the m6 but you know when your map tells you to get off the motorway and you just know that it's told everyone else to get off the motorway too um well that's happened and we're doing about an average of eight miles an hour at the moment um so needless to say we're going to be a little bit later getting to the Cotswolds than planned but at least when we were stopped with the engines off i actually had a chance to eat my sandwich that i picked up from prepped earlier because other than that i hadn't eaten since like eight o'clock this morning so i was getting very very hungry so i um had my little pret sandwich i got one of the um prep vegan festive kind of christmas sandwiches which i really like also the um pret vlt which is like the vegan blt i guess is really good um sophie and i both love that one pretty much by the time we get back to the Cotswolds we'll have to just do a really quick turnaround and then head out to Broadway. I'm really hoping to catch my sister before she leaves because she's going down to London tonight um, so I can give her her birthday present because it's her birthday the other day. I would just really like to get there now but um, so far we've had oh about 40 minutes added to the ETA in total. We've already been driving for quite a while and it still says another hour and a half and normally it's only about a two hour journey so we've just been unlucky with the traffic today but that's okay. The event this morning was super nice. It's such a lovely gorgeous gorgeous brand and they do so many really um, lovely personalised bits which I think is really great for gifting um, at this time of year. And met some really lovely girls, had a good catch up with Alana um, and so it was a good morning. Oh goodness me we're not having much luck with the sun today are we you know when the sun's really low because what's the time now it's half two and in england at the moment by half two it's pretty much golden hour um, and the sun is setting because it's pretty much completely dark by four o'clock now you know i've really been thinking that i need to get going with my christmas shopping because i just feel like december is one of those months where you feel like you have time and then you blink and suddenly it's the week before Christmas and everywhere's out of stock of everything and the shops are so busy and you've missed the last delivery date um, and all of that. And I do still have quite a bit that I need to get. I've got a few people's presents sorted. But do you know who's the difficult one to buy for is Kenny because Kenny is the least materialistic person on the planet which is obviously a really lovely quality but he just really doesn't care for kind of materialistic things well i say that but i feel like he's a really funny one because he really doesn't enjoy shopping at all and he also would prefer to have a much smaller like kenny is the perfect guy for like a capsule wardrobe he doesn't want loads and loads of um clothes however he does have his things that he's really fussy about um i think a couple of years ago i bought him a Saint Laurent backpack to take to work with him and he uses that every day although the zip's actually broken so we're in the process of trying to get that repaired and then for example he's really fussy about suitcases and last year I may have told you this story last year but last year I thought I had the best idea um, I bought him a new wash bag I got him a really nice Dior wash bag because although he currently has a wash bag it's the one that he takes to and from every single game um, I think he takes it to work every day with him as well it's well and truly worn out you know when the leather's kind of peeling off um, so last year I bought him that and I had it sat in the cupboard and I was just kind of doing that thing where you test the waters a little bit and I was saying a whole bunch of suggestions of what he might like for Christmas fully knowing that I'd already had his Christmas present in the cupboard and I remember I kind of casually said I don't know maybe a new wash bag or something and he I cannot remember how he said it but he pretty much said no I don't need that that would be the worst Christmas present ever or something which makes him sound really spoiled but he's not because he didn't know it's what I'd got him um, but obviously that very swiftly got returned however this year guess what he said he thinks he wants a wash bag and when i showed him the one i got him last year he really liked it and guess what they don't make anymore the one that i got him last year so he is very difficult to buy for and kenny i know you'll be watching this so if you've thought of anything else you'd like for christmas then let me know anyway i think by the looks of things we might be rejoining the motorway in a second Let's hope the traffic's cleared up a little bit. But if that's the case, I'm going to go. I will see you when we finally, finally get to the Cotswolds. Right. 
right it is much 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 later on now um, it took a really 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 long time to get to my sister's house and then I got there gave her a birthday presents um, just said hello to everyone and then pretty much drove straight here so we've just got into Broadway we're gonna do a little bit of evening Christmassy shopping Mum and I have just made a pit stop to get some mulled wine. My mouth is already so cold I can hardly talk. Is your mouth a bit numb? Cheers. We were just saying there's nothing nicer when it's really, really cold and your hands are freezing and every bit of you is freezing than having like a really lovely warming mulled wine or the cider. You know when they do mulled cider, do you like that? I don't think I've ever tried that. No, I always see people have that. I don't think I've ever tried it as well. I've only had mulled wine. We'll try that next. Mum's got the good deal tonight because I'm the driver, so when we go to the pub afterwards for dinner as well, she can have wine and mulled cider and anything that she wants. This shop is new to us. This wasn't here last time we came to Broadway. Um, and it's a really lovely shop. So whenever you're next in Broadway, definitely come and have a look here. They've got loads of lovely beds. Mum and I were just saying that this is a bed fit for our dogs, bit big for Rue. That would be like a super, super, super king for tiny Rue. Yes. You'd like that? That's fine. You, you would like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to get her something to eat. And then mum was also saying she quite likes these lamps and mum was also recommending these candles for my vlogmas but I was saying that they've burnt all the walls in my uh, above the fireplace so I might stick to LED ones for now. Do we know that she has to be carried? Maybe she could or all the dogs being carried. I was saying I really like this cushion. Mum have we ever had windows like this in our yes which house had these? Ooh, uh, Brookside? Brookside? Yeah, is that the like only one? Mullions like that. That's yeah. what you're looking at, the mullions. They look really nice, but they look yeah. cold. I bet that was cold. Or did you well, double we glaze? Didn't have, um, we have, we replaced the window part of it. So the mullion was there and we had double glazed windows. windows. Yeah. Oh, I thought so. They feel familiar, but I didn't know whether it was just, um, yeah. this is a very Cotswoldy kind of bedroom. Really, really nice. Oh yeah, here's like a smaller, is that a smaller desk that yes. was in there? Yes. That's yeah, that's quite a nice one. I was saying ultimately, now that I've got rid of my glass desk, I would like to get another one. Just like a wooden writing desk or something to work from. This is my idea of heaven in here. All of the mugs.
was just saying to mum that definitely next time we renovate a house, next time we have another house to do, I am definitely going to put some warmer tones on the walls because it's a bit of a scary thing to do because um, you can't go wrong with cream. But I just love the feel of rooms like this. Although you have to think, mum, in the summer, would you feel the same about it, you know? Yeah. That's, that's just the only dark. thing. Yeah. yeah. Like it's perfect in the winter with the Christmas tree. That Christmas tree is quite nice as well. You know what's nice in that Christmas tree? The, um, all these berries, mum. Yes, that is nice. They're really nice. I think they're actually from here. They've got labels on. Uh, yeah, they're nice. But no, I'm definitely going to do some stronger colors, I think. <laughs> This is probably Mum and I's favourite shop in Broadway. Almost always end up walking away with something. They just have such lovely colours and everything in here. All of these baubles actually are really nice. Aren't they really lovely? And they're really heavy actually. They're really, really nice quality baubles. And then I also really like this. We normally end up going home with a diffuser and Mum was saying that Dad bought a fig one for the house um, and Mum said it was the longest lasting diffuser that she'd ever had. But mum, these are all like branded. Are they not the same? They're not the same. No, because ours was an at home. How lovely are these little um, natural kind of wreath things? You could spray them um, and then they'd have a really nice scent. They also have lots of these rustic bells that are actually really quite hard to find in England. We've just arrived in Ilmington, which is another kind of like local village to where I grew up and we've come to a pub that used to be the pub that we always always came to if we ever went out for like a Sunday lunch or ever really went for a pub dinner we would always come to the Howard Arms in Ilmington um, but I think if I remember right at some point it was taken over by somebody else and then we stopped coming so much is that yeah, that, that's because I think maybe mum and dad thought it wasn't quite as good once it had been taken over. Um, but we've heard it's been taken over again since then. So we're going to give it another go this evening. I think the last time I came here was, well, it was when we were with granny mum. So how many years ago must that have been now? Ten? Would it be ten? Probably ten years ago. So um, although I can still remember the layout and everything, because I feel like we did come quite a few times when I was younger. So let's go inside. Mm -hmm. 